Hello my friends, this is Gladys from Gladys Garden in Heart of a Gypsy. Thanks for stopping by to my channel. Hope everybody's having a great day. Today I have something that I like to share with you and it is my DT entry for um, Ephemera's Vintage Garden. This is my first project of the year. We finished up 2013 and everything went well and I'm very proud to keep designing for this very talented uh, lady, uh, Debbie Ann Parent and this is through Ephemera vintage garden and one of her I think it was December uh, or the last uh, printout that she made for the year 2013 was called uh, or is called uh, peculiar ancestry and it's absolutely beautiful like everything else that she makes but it seems like every time she comes up with a new one she just makes it better and better all the time and um, so it's kind of um it's kind of, it's definitely on the steampunk side, um, but being on the weird side without being so dark, um, I would say, because I don't think I like the very dark part of the steampunk, but I do like the grunchiness and, um, you know, and the, the, the elements that she incorporated into it. So what, I'm do what I've done with this, I made a mini album that perhaps to, uh, to uh, you know, a first glance it may look complicated. It is absolutely not complicated. So you've already seen the pictures before this video. After I finish talking, the, the tutorial will follow up. Um, and it's a picture tutorial, like a PDF type of thing. And there will be a printout right, you know, below in, um, right below into the information box. So you'll have uh, the printout that will tell you the materials that you need need and also you know all the measurements but in the pictures while you see the slice uh, pictures you'll see the measurements in there too I put them all in there and you can always get a hold of me leave a message or question and I'll always um, get back to you the album measures um, for me it's I think eight and a quarter by five and a half I think and that's the covers okay and the inside part is a little a little smaller but I'm gonna pace you through it I don't want to take all your time because you already watched the pictures and then you have to see the tutorial so I want you to um, you know go through that but look how beautiful it turned out um, I am using Laura by following the paper trails um, stuck the deck um, spine method or binding method and I think it's a really really good one and it's going to be below here too I'm gonna to put the link in there um, I did some adjustments to mine and you'll have those measurements but basically it's the same method that I'm using um, that I was taught or I um, you know watch one of her videos and that's how I learned to do that and I have to say it's a very simplistic way of doing it and it looks just marvelous and it also is still Backs up very pretty. Look how pretty and, and it lays flat. So so beautiful. All right, so that's what I use, and uh, so you'll have that information below. So let me show you what it looks like. This is what it looks like in the bag. There it is. Gorgeous paper, just gorgeous paper. And let me just bring this other one. This is the only thing you're not going to see in there yet because I haven't put it there, but it's part of the paper and I was wait waiting for it to dry and I was too impatient and I finished the whole thing. So I got to cut them out and incorporate it into the album, but that's just part of it. Uh, so here is the, the, the front cover. And then I created this um, chunky bead uh, charm. This one I had bought it at Walmart a while back, and I didn't know where I was, uh, you know, how or where. I, it was just beautiful. Um, it, it truly is a feather inside there, you know, a um, peacock feather. And ever since I saw it, I thought, oh, that goes perfectly with, you know, the this journal. Um, kit. So I put that there and then I put some more glass, antique glass beads that I found in an antique store and that's, I didn't want to put anything else just because it was just beautiful by itself. As you open it, I created a, um, you know, a pocket here. The, the video will show you how to put all the pages together but not the matting, okay? The matting you can do on your own. Everybody knows how to mat so I'm not going to bore you with that. I, when I mat my papers, I always mat or cut them a quarter of an inch shorter than what the measurements. So if let's just say this is seven by four, I would cut it at six and three quarters by three and three quarters, you know, um, the matting. That's 
my rule of thumb. You don't have to if you don't, you know, if they can be the same size, whatever. But you're not going to see me do that. It just takes too long to mat in front of the, the camera and I'm not doing that. Um, so I will teach you how to do the construction. When you see little flaps like this, make sure that you put them before you do your matting, obviously. So, you know, the insert that is going to be um, stuck to the page is underneath the mat and you don't have to see that. All right, so we have a giant tag in here. Um, and then this one, they all open up this way, so it's a pocket. And you have an insert here. All the pa all the pages are the same except for the way I decorated them. Okay, so a flap here, flap here, and a little one in there. And then this is another page right there. I really like this one. This is part of the collection. She has a page in the printout kit, uh, Peculiar Ancestor, that is like mini uh, Polaroid, Polaroid uh, photo frames. And I thought they were so cute. So what I did, I cut them. And instead of cutting them on top, right at the edge, I left enough so the whole thing measured four inches. Then I did a little bit of... Um, I measured I think this is like three quarters of an inch right here and then I did a um, a score line and then I just stacked them you know one on top of the other just like a like a staircase or a cascade it's quite quite easy there's plenty of tutorials out there how to do that this is a little flap that you insert here before you put this matting here and then you close it in here and obviously there's some mat in there same thing over here this one is a po little pocket that I created and then it has a giant mat that you can put in there and then I put on this side I made a little pocket in here and with a little insert for it's all about the photos really um, so you really can put big photos into this album it just looks complicated I was just amazed how quick it came together it, it's a little on the tedious side because there's a, the matting part because you know I like it here I don't like it there and you know when you're designing it everything you're changing your mind constantly but once you have it done it's uh, for you guys watching the tutorial it'll be done for you guys so you don't have to decide it's done and just follow that this one I use the Baroque um, die cut or die by um, uh, Tim Holtz and I was watching a, a video I cannot remember her name right off the top but I will put it in the link to below my friend Lisa from Lisa Paper Passion she gave me this link to this girl who um, this very talented lady on YouTube who was um, doing some cuttings with a baroque and she said you know how to use it uh, properly or efficiently and she was using you know the ends of this to make this pocket and then this little ones right here this you know corners they're just part of what comes out right here it's like using the whole thing and look how pretty it really looks I think it just you know very smart lady so I'll put her link below and I, I apologize that I can't remember um, you know everyone's name at this point but it'll be there so if you guys want to go and check her out and see you know how she does uh, what she did all right, so they're all the same thing, and you know, I just put pockets wherever I pleased, and more here, more here. You already seen that one. I kind of repeated them because I have eight pages. When Laura was doing her her spine, oh, or her, um, oh, you know the. Gee, I'm I'm going blank here. When she was doing her. Um, Ah, the hinges for her pages. I am so sorry. I'm spastic today. I'm tired. <laughs> um, she did only three stack on top of another. So she ended up with six pages. I did four on this one because I wanted to have eight pages. So this is a big book without being difficult. Um, trust me, you'll see the tutorial and you'll agree with me. All right. So this one right here. Let me see. Oh, that one isn't even stuck. But anyways, I created this little flap over here. And this is part of her, the paper collection. I didn't want to even take them apart. I thought they looked really pretty like that. Like an advertisement. And there it is. And again, there's some mat in here. And I added some other steampunk papers that I've had that I thought they would go with the collection too. My, um, you know, commercial papers. Same thing over here. And then the mat that goes in here. And then a little pocket in here with a big old tag. 
and then this is the last page and I did another one on this one I did a something different when I cut it together the baroque I put the other one inside so I cut them so it doesn't cut all the way through so I put the, the paper folded but watch the tutorial from this uh, lady how she does it and you'll learn it's just quite easy and then I put this one in here and I added this ones this ones were from garden carnival I think or the carnival garden uh, collection from Debbie also which I already did a tutorials on um, that collection so that's the end of this page and that's the last page right there and so it, here there's a sample in here so when I put them to cut in my um, my die I don't go all the way out I just kind of stick I fold I fold my paper and I just leave a little bit like an eighth of an inch or so so it doesn't cut it through and it becomes a little little flip album or you know whatever you want to call this so I'm gonna put those in there for photos and then I created this little pocket and I this this little insert of this beautiful um, picture um, so anyways this is the book and I hope you have enjoyed it I wish I'd had this one's on already uh, but I'm I'm going to and I'll take some more pictures so this is it tutorial is follow uh, following you know this conversation and I hope you have enjoyed it and again this is a DT project for ephemeras vintage garden using her peculiar peculiar ancestry uh, or ancestors I think it is I'm so sorry Debbie let me see uh, I don't have it here. It's cut. Uh, but anyways, and it's her journal kit. So it's loaded with pictures. And they're big pictures too. So you'll be able to do a lot with it. Espe specifically, this album was just perfect for it. So the size and everything. So it's not a small, small thing. But it's very um, condensed and easy to do. So I hope you enjoyed it. And you guys take care. And we'll talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye. Thank you.